What's up, duelists? Thanks to all your hashtag thoughts and prayers yesterday, I am feeling a little bit better today. Hell yeah. I've got this really sweet combo control deck that I'm going to be playing for you guys today. Go ahead and like and subscribe. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Let's talk about this deck a little bit. This is a deck that was sort of designed by a user on Duelist Grounds named Trinet. Very powerful duelist. But I've made a bunch of improvements since the last time I've played this deck or the last time I've talked about this deck. This is a Black Garden control deck. The way the deck works is you use Black Garden to slow down the pace of the game. And then you net power, or not power, you net advantage off of your flip effects. So Volcanic Rocket, which uh, gets its effect when flip summoned. Very, very notable. Dekoichi, of course, flip draw one card. Night Assailant, and of course, Rigorous Reaver. This is a card I'm testing out. It is a 1600 plant, which is a good number for Black Garden, of course. You gotta have that uh, increment of 800 to be able to sacrifice off the tokens and bring back a 1600 plant. We've got Botanical Lion, another 1600 plant that grows while it's in play. Also resilient to brain control, that type of thing. And then, of course, the part of the deck that I've added since then is the Tree, Deep Sea Diva, and Spine Gilman. These cards are super good in this deck because one Diva and one Gilman and one Volcanic Shell automatically turns on Pot of Avarice, which is hella sick. That's like instant five cards or whatever. I'm only playing one Blaze Accelerator. I kind of want to fit the second, but I don't really have room for it. And I, I do want to try this Rigorous Reaver. If the Rigorous Reaver doesn't really work out, I am going to go back to the second Blaze Accelerator. The sideboard, pretty straightforward. I mean, it's just all good cards. There's not really much to say about this sideboard. One thing is we are siding the Mind Crush because Phoenix Wing Windblast makes it live a little bit more frequently than it normally would be. In the extra deck, just only thing that's worth noting is the Gishilna Dawn. We can summon that off of the Gilman plus Diva combo if we need to under uh, Rivalry or Gozen, which is something that does come up. It does come up. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a game. I hopefully will not botch this. This is a very difficult deck to pilot because it is, of course, a control deck. And control decks, they are tough. You have a lot of turns where there are critical decisions and... You have to play long and grindy games. If you mess up one of those critical decisions, it can alter the whole course of the game, especially in a format where decks are trying to pressure you as early as turn one. So we'll see if we can uh, put something together with this deck. I think it's a good deck. I legit think it's a good deck. Another reason I like the Diva Gilman combo is if you make an early Android, it helps offset the life loss that you're going to be losing from the Volcanic Shells. So that's something that I kind of wanted out of this deck was a way to offset the life loss. And I think Diva does a perfect job of complementing the uh, volcanic engines as well. We've got a game versus Cody EO. Good luck, have fun. I'm gonna go ahead and pick probably paper. Okay, another paper pick. That's uh, that's dangerous. That's truly dangerous. He's about his paper. Someone about their paper. They might be also about about their rock. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. Defeated Cody EO. You can never you can never beat me. Okay, I hope to open one of my auto plus one cards. Let's see if we can get one of those. Nice, we did. We opened Dekoichi. Obviously, opening Gilman sucks, but we can always shuffle it back with Avarice later. We might want to engage in Black Garden shenanigans early. Mm. I think what we'd rather do is get our Gilman in play before we activate the Black Garden. So I'm thinking next turn we'll flip Dekoichi. Well, we'll bottomless whatever they summon, and we'll flip Dekoichi, get our plus one, Normal summon Gilman. Okay, well, <laughs> never mind. That does kind of suck. Uh, we are getting punished a little bit here, but alas, we have found our volcanic rocket. This should be very good for us. That'll let us clear this shining angel. Hmm, back row. Not ideal. Well, not much we can do, but play into it. Let's go ahead and summon. Activate. See if they have a response. They're going to chain bottomless. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I was a little bit worried about um, chain... What is that other card? Herald of Orange Light. That could have been much more problematic. But this, as it stands, is very nice. Our hand is going to be exceptional at dealing with this. We're going to pay 500. We're going to go search for another shell. Now, we don't have any defense. We are probably going to take a hit this turn. So I'm going to activate Black Garden. I just want to slow down the game. I don't think they have Heavy Storm. They probably would have heavied before attacking with the Shining Angel or setting their bottomless. So they have to top deck Heavy Storm here. Um, it is a little bit risky, but I think defending our life total is much more important than 
uh, risking a 1 in 34 heavy, basically. They set a monster. We can Blaze Accelerator pop that, get closer to our Avarice total, which is nice. And they did set a back row, so now even a top deck Heavy Storm isn't that great for them. We've already gotten a ton of value out of our Blaze Accelerator. Yeah, if I was them, I, I wouldn't have even searched. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was dumb. Or not search, sorry, set. I wouldn't have even set. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty pretty bad play. <laughs> we're going to set Sangin. I think next turn we're going to be looking at flip, summon Sangin, attack. If they don't commit another monster, and if they do commit another monster, we're going to be using the Blaze Accelerator to pop it. These types of matchups are probably pretty good for us, but their haymakers are very dangerous. We need to be careful of Heavy Storm into Christia. That can be something that just absolutely blows us out. Also, if they had like utilized their DD Warrior Lady a little bit better, Dimensional Alchemists from this point will become much more threatening. Okay, cool. So we've got Sangin. We can flip summon it. We can start attacking. And then we can set our Decoichi. I think that's going to be the plan. So we'll flip summon Sangin. Attack for 1,000. Oh, wow, they're playing Deep Prison. I am going to chain Book of Moon. Because I don't want to set the Book of Moon anyway, and I'd rather preserve our board presence and have the Sangin set here. And now I'm going to set the Decoichi, and we are now two full summons ahead of what the opponent could be doing. Deep Prison's an interesting one. You don't normally see it in the Fairy deck, but sometimes you do. I mean, I've played it before. Okay, we get a token. We're going to chain Bottomless. So we're going to get a token... Uh, I need to get a rose token here, I think. Uh, do I get a rose token here, actually? I'm not even sure. Uh, hold up. What does it say? Have its attack, then the controller of that monster. Special summons one rose token. Uh, need to Google if I get a rose. I need to look this up. I'm sure we're going to be looking up a lot of Black Garden rulings as we play this deck. That's another reason not to play this deck. It's... it's it's kind of a ruling headache. I think I do get a rose. I'm like pretty sure I get a rose, but I just want to like double check basically because I might not actually. Uh, Black Garden. Shout out to EdisonFormat.com for having all these rulings. Very useful. Player air performs normal summon. Uh, whatever. Black Garden have its attack. Special summon. Whatever. Uh, special summon. Activates. Even if special summon monster is bad. Okay. This effect activates. Whatever, this effect activates multiple monsters, special summons simultaneously. Okay, activates multiple times. This attack chain applies while that monster is face up, even if Black Garden leaves the field. Okay, affected monster will be double its original attack. Okay, God, this is so, so many rulings. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Black Garden all face up sequentially must be destroyed by this. That's not, that's not the part of the... Okay, well, I think I get it. I, I, okay, okay, I think I do get it, but I could be wrong. I don't know for sure, but this should just be like a crush. We're going to flip the Koichi, try to draw one card. Okay, they have no Herald. We are going to flip Sangin, and at this point, we are very far ahead. We just need to be careful a little bit of Gores, but Gores just gives us two more tokens. We'll attack for 800 and then a thousand, and then maybe not even attack for 14. Maybe we will still, because I don't care. Let me think. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. I don't think we can afford to wait around, really, if they have gores. Okay, cool. I'm not going to commit this torrential. We don't need to. We can just pass. I'd rather not torrential away my board. We have Blaze Accelerator to clear monsters already. We don't need to set this torrential into Heavy Storm, potential Heavy Storm, that kind of thing. Heavy Storm is already hurting us pretty bad here. We're going to be losing two very high-value cards. Cool. Nice. Yes. That's exactly how this deck wants to function. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. All right. All right. Against fairies, what do we have? Uh, Oriko poses a threat, and all their set monsters pose a threat, so I do like Nobleman of Crossout. This is probably a pretty good Nobleman matchup. I do also like... That's it, really. <laughs> it's just the Noblemans. I don't love Cyber Dragon in this matchup, but we might need it. I don't know if I like Cyber Dragon that much in this matchup. I don't know if I like Book of Moon that much, but Book of Moon helps us into Deep Prison, and 
the other card, Bottomless Trap Hole. Huh. This is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one for sure. I think the game plan is to cut. Maybe it's Lion. Lion doesn't really seem that great here. I'll cut Lion. And I'll cut. Darn, this is actually really tough. Maybe one bottomless? I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one for sure. Hopefully we're able to just have a similar start this game and dodge Heavy Storm. <laughs> okay, we got Rocket. We got Sangin. That's a, that's a decent start. It's not the best. We also got Torrential and Solemn. We're missing a key piece for either of these cards to really do anything. Bountiful Artemis. Okay, that's a little different. That's a little different. That makes me want to... Um, they're going to drastic drop off. That's not what I was expecting, but at least it's only hitting a Spine Gilman. Okay, this could be bad. This could be bad. This is definitely not what I was expecting. Now, we could set Solemn Torrential, have Torrential with Solemn backup. I kind of like that more. And then I'll set Sangin as well. So if they summon something, I can Torrential and have Solemn backup. And if they don't summon anything, then we just get Sang and Search for Shell. They're going to True Nade. Um, that's fine. I think. Unless they have DD Warrior Lady. But even then, it's fine. Harvest Angel of Wisdom. Interesting. Alright. Sangin's going to go get me Shell. I think. Unless I want something else. Do I want D.Va? Uh, Divas are not bad here. We got brain control. I think Shell's a little better, though. If we resolve Volcanic Rocket, then Shell's very good. We give him a thumbs up. Our position's not great. Oh, that's so annoying. That is part of the downside of this deck, is it does play a fair number of bricks. So, there is that. I will try to rock it here. Divine Wrath, yeah. I think we're just behind too much. Alright. Well, let's set to and... We could kill the Bountiful Artemis, but... We'd have to brain the Bountiful Artemis and crash it... To play around Honest. Which I'm kind of okay with doing. They've already gotten their value out of it. Maybe I should have brained it first. Hmm. Let's just hold the brain. I, I think we can get a better conversion. I think we can get a better conversion. They're going to switch and then attack. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Set a couple back row. Trap the shoot. Sure. Be my guest. Shell or shell. Very tough. Very, very tough. Okay, so I think the plan is going to be Brain Harvest. Attack over Artemis. Now that they've switched it to defense. They're going to Solemn. I'm going to Solemn back. No. Your Solemn didn't resolve. Oh shit. It counts mine. That's AIDS, Lameo. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I didn't know it counted mine. That's funny. That's really bad, actually. Dang. I should side out Solemn then. Well, maybe not. Alright, cool. We've got. Windblast for this guy. We've got Torrential in case they summon another guy. I think we're all right. But we can't activate Shell too much till we find... Oh, thank God they summoned something. This game could have gotten really bad if they didn't summon something there. They've sold Purity and Light. That could be bad. 
Interesting deck for sure. Bottomless is good. Bottomless is very good. Honest is really bad for us. I don't think they're playing Heavy Storm anymore, so I'm just going to start setting everything I draw. And even if they are, like, we can't really afford to play around it. Here comes Honest. Yep, maybe they'd have that. That's what they've been representing the whole game. I'm going to Wind Blast the Honest. It does pose to be a problem, unfortunately. Yep. All right. We'll activate our shell. Pay 500. This Avarice is going to be live, which is nice. Um, provided they don't like DD Warrior Lady, my next shell or something. And phase dust, sure. So they brought in dust tornadoes against us. That's good to know. Here's Bountiful. Okay. Tax this. That's the shell. Hopefully they don't have a back row that stops Avarice, basically. Okay, cool. So first things first, we are going to pay 500 to go get the last shell. The difference between whatever and whatever life points is inconsequential. And then we are going to Avarice. If we don't draw the Gilman, then we actually just fucking end his shit with Cataster. Which is very nice. Pot of Avarice is so good in these types of matchups. Oh, that's that's quite good too. Um, it is a little risky though. Because then any light monster kills us. And they have two cards in hand, neither of which they set. So I'm going to go Diva into Cataster and not go for this Cyber Dragon Kaya shit. So we'll just do this. Thank God they don't have Herald. Grab Gilman. Go ahead and Synchro into Cataster. If they do have Herald, then main phase 2, we can at least special Cyber Dragon, so it's not the worst. Alright, uh, not a bad position, but not a great one. Kind of tentative. I wish we had a trap card, but we have follow-up. And we have the command of the position, so there's that. Black Garden is a good draw, I want to say, but I'm not sure. So we could sack Caius, sack Ally of Justice for Caius. I don't love it. I think I'm down to just attack with Ally of Justice. Mirror Force. That's really bad. Fuck. Okay. Um, main Phase 2... So main phase two, we could go Sidra, Caius, activate Black Garden. That means they have to have a 1600 or stronger monster to kill us with Honest. I'm down to try that. I'm down to try it. They really did top deck Mirror Force. That's kind of crazy. Oh, and they set the Honest. Interesting. Do I want to activate Black Garden then? Hmm. Now that I know their Honest is gone, well, they might have another Honest. So I think I do want to activate Black Garden and pass. It's, it's really tricky. We are down a little bit too low to play around too much. They set the card they just drew. All right, Diva's interesting. We can summon that, give them two Rose tokens. Um, but then we have Diva in attack position, which is silly. So I think the plan is going to be just attack their set. Harvest Angel of Wisdom. They're probably going to add back something good. I don't know. Solemn? Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I think I want to set one of these cards. I'm not sure which one, though. I think Diva. I think I want to set Diva. Oh. Well, that's awesome. This will still have their Christia. Uh, still have, I believe. Yeah, I think it still resolves as much as possible. I'm not sure what they added back, but that's really bad. 
I'm surprised this deck can afford to play Christia. But it's working out for the opponent here. They've had a pretty good draw. Knock. Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Do they have Honest? Do they have the second Honest? They're just going to set, set. No, they don't, because we know they have fucking... What was it? Harvest plus Solemn. <coughs> oh, yay. That's funny. We've drawn double shell twice this game. Um, I think it's just attack over Christia. They're going to take a thousand. Next turn, they can crash Harvest and set up a Divine Wrath or a Drastic Drop-Off combo. They probably should have summoned the Christian Defense, honestly. Okay, they're just going to pass. That's fine. Book of Moon, interesting. They have Solemn for it, but we can set it. We have some outs. We have, like, Knock is an out. Um, knock will force a Solemn at least. Wind Blast is good. Wind Blast can also force the Solemn. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think about a situation in which we can force the Solemn and be pretty happy. We need to have two two outs and we need to overload their their negates another set monster is annoying volcanic rocket is good actually uh, that's very good for us because that means next turn we can overload the solemn basically if their set monster is a fairy yeah okay So I think what we want to do is we want to book Artemis. They're going to Solemn, draw one more card, and then, so that resolves, and then we'll go Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, Pitching Volcanic Shell, Targeting Bountiful Artemis. Okay, cool. Oh, I should have targeted their... Yeah, no, I, I should have targeted the other guy. But it's cool. Drastic drop-off. That's unfortunate because um, we did rip him out. But... At least we get a search Blaze Accelerator now. <laughs> it was the next card. We still have one more shell search. I'm kind of hesitant to run it. If we pop the guy, they can special Christia, but that doesn't really do anything for them. Well, kind of does, I guess. Wait, we can just attack, attack for game, right? Mirror Force is gone. They have to have another, like, attack stop to stop this. Alright, well. Let's try it. They're going to be able to add something back? Sure. And then we'll attack for 24. They had another attack stop. Damn, that's so unlucky. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking maybe we should have wind blasted their other back row, hit over the bountiful, and then like put them low. But I mean, as it stands, we're just getting fucked now. Because we can't even get over defense position Christia without like being forced to use our thing. Thankfully, they can't, like, kill us over a token. Oh, they can kill us over a token. They just summon Bountiful and then they special Christia. I just choked the game. Fuck. 
Okay, well. <laughs> Hopefully they don't recognize the lethal shot. <laughs> Hopefully they don't recognize it. Oh, thank God. Yeah, they missed lethal here. That's good for us, at the very least. <laughs> That's good for us. We know they have drastic drop off, so they're going to hit whatever we draw, which is fine, but we can actually, like, I suppose lock them out of this Christia. Or lock them out of their next draw step. So we're going to draw here. They're going to drop off. It's going to hit our mirror force. That's fine. Uh, much better that they did that now instead of with Bountiful and play face up. So the plan is to go Blaze Pop Christia. Target Christia. Pitch Shell. I don't know if this is the right idea or the wrong idea or whatever. Damn, they really fucking choked lethal last turn. This is so ugly. We need to draw our second knock to win the game. I don't think we have anything that immediately wins it other than that. They just have to set pass, but if they set pass, then we can lock them out of Christia by popping one. Oh, we can't even we can't even lock them out of Christia because we only have one shell. Oh, they're gonna crash. Interesting. Uh, sure. Huh. Well, that's okay, I guess. Maybe I just won't pop the Christia then this time. Because it only costs them $100 to, to sort of draw lock us. Um, I get a token now. Wait, 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 wait. Does this alter the course of things? Oh, yeah, 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 we don't get a token. Never mind. Um, wait. They're going to take 1100 we attack over Artemis. They're going to drastic drop off here. I'm not going to shuffle my hand or anything. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's going to hit our Wind Blast. Unfortunate, but... No, this is actually a chance for us to do something now. Yeah, I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to attack the Bountiful. Uh, uh, lag. Yeah, it's going to deal a lot of damage. Um... Hmm. They are out of the draw lock now, but... Oh, man, that Phoenix Wing would have been good. That's our third one, too. But we have two more Avarice. We have... Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Double Christia, yeah, that's insane. Okay, they're gonna set. Set, set. Okay. Oh man, what a draw. What a draw. If only they had ever like saved any of those. Okay, so we can target fucking everything, right? Shell, Shell, Gilman, Diva, Cataster. Okay, well, at least it forces the bribe. Oh, fucking damn it, dude. That's so frustrating. Okay. Um, where we blaze pop their set monster, but then how the fuck are we ever getting over Christia? I guess we have one more Avarice. Okay, now they have five fairies. So, I think they fumbled the bag a little bit. They didn't need to set the harvest that turn. I feel like that was kind of a choke. So now we have, we know they have Christia, Christia. Unknown, unknown. And they're both back rows. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> well, this deck can break. I mean, that's that's part of the problem with this deck. Uh, but we can shut off our own Black Garden if we ever need to. So, it's not the worst. Did they draw Honest? Yeah, they did. Alright. Cool. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I think I fumbled... 
uh, the bag. Ah, uh, yes. Say GG when you win, but not when you lose, Cody EO. I see you. The match ain't over yet, motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, I've got Heavy Storm for this deck. Dust Tornado seems good for this deck. I actually think D Prison and Bottomless seem a lot better now. Yeah. And Botanical Lion also seems a lot better now, too. Because it just walls out their dudes. These all seem good. Mind Control seems good. I'm going to side out Starlight Road. Um, I'm going to side out one Black Garden. I'm not sure what else. The Nox were okay. I'm going to side out one of them, though. Well, I don't know. I'm going to side out Book of Moon. <coughs> I don't think Book of Moon is going to be that effective here. Windblast kind of sucks into, like, Bribe and shit. I might want to cut one of them. I want more one for one, less minus one, basically. Although Windblast is really good in this deck. And I might cut Cyber Dragon going first. How does this look? Am I going to miss the Windblast? That's the real question. The game's going to go long, so having multiple bricks is not a good thing. But Windblast is like our best card. But it's also our worst card, but it's better going first. Hmm. I don't know. I might want to leave it in. I'm not sure what I would cut over it, though. Maybe Kaius. Windblast over Kaius. That could be good. I'm not exactly wanting to go minus one Kaius into... into whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this hand looks great. So we can go into Android... And then just set up three back row and then just win the game, I think. I think that's the plan. Alternatively, we could grab Gilman and not synchro. So we need to think here for a second. So if we don't synchro, we like end phase, we're wind blasting a back row, and then we're sacking for Caius, banishing another back row, and then um, we can attack for 41 and just be like very far ahead. But then our two battle traps aren't really doing anything because they're not attacking us. Whereas if we go for Android, we start gaining life. I think I'm going to go for Android. It's a little bit more conservative of a line, but I think it's correct. I'm not going to set the Mirror Force quite yet. There's no real reason to. They can't summon two monsters in one turn. And Deep Prison is going to do the same thing as Mirror Force here. Pretty much. Cool. I think their deck struggles from the fact that like going second just sucks so bad. Now we can win blast something on the M phase. I think I'm not sure if it's better to hit it on I'm just gonna go to my draw phase. We'll see if they let us go to M1. Another Wind Blast is a really good draw. Okay, cool. Let's Wind Blast their monster. I want to set them back pretty far. And I want to search a shell. They're in a Dark Bribe. Beautiful. That's totally fine. Oh, that's a good draw too. Let's shell activate. Pay 500. We have our advantage engine online. We don't even have to attack this in case it's a TD Warrior Lady. It could also be a Harvest Angel, but I'm like fairly certain it's like a DD Warrior Lady or something like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna normal diva, special diva. And just not not do the thing with the guy. <laughs> that's that's a terrible way of putting this, but uh, special out our, our last diva. Now we have Tribute Fodder for Caius, and we're kind of set up. I don't need to attack this. I can just Wind Blast it. So I'm going to set, set, and then in the draw phase, I want to think if I want to Wind Blast it. I don't think I need to, unless it's specifically Bountiful Artemis, and they have Honest plus, like, Solemn. 
in which case that's bad for us. But either way, we have the reversal. So it should be okay. It should be okay. And we gain 600. And then, yeah. Cool. So we've got life. We've got board. We've got card advantage. We just need to convert it, basically. Okay, here comes Shining Angel. That is A-OK. -okay. They're going to attack Deep Sea Diva. I am going to fire off this Dimensional Prison. Nice. That worked out well. Main phase two. Let's see if they have another back row. If they have another back row, then cool. If not, awesome. I'll go M1. Oh, that's a good draw. We actually don't even have to use our Windblast here now. I think it's still worth it to use the Windblast now. But um, it could be wrong. I'm gonna windblast the back row though, because we got Caius for the for the monster. They're gonna chain Typhoon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that was a good Typhoon. But I still think we're gonna be pretty far ahead at this point. So we pay 500. Go get the last shell. Hopefully we can find um, the card. <laughs> That's so. Not a good way to describe this. Sack for Caius. Caius, activate, target their monster. Yep, it was the DD Warrior Lady. Okay, so we're going to go 200, and then 2400, and then 2400. And I don't think they have Gores. That deck doesn't play Gores, there's no way. Yeah, and the main two... We have a couple of options. I think the best option is going to be Dark End Dragon. I think that's the best option. And then we can set Blaze and gain 600 and pass. All right, we're up a decent amount. At least positionally and life total. Not necessarily card advantage. The Mystical Space Typhoon did kind of get us there, but our position is very good. I don't know how they're going to be able to come back from this. Plus, we have three live Avarice in our deck that are now just like the best cards in the game. It's been a fun match. I really like this one. I really like this match. This has been a good one. Last game I got a review. I don't know if I messed it up or not. I think I messed it up by just not knowing they were on counter fairies, but how could you know, you know? We just saw a Shining Angel, which normally isn't played in these types of decks. Three back row, okay. Interesting. M1. Cool. We'll go main one. Now, there's no shot they have a way to stop this Dark End activation, because they have no cards in hand, so they can't Divine Wrath it. But there is a chance they have something like Mirror Force. At least we will, you know, activate. Okay, cool. Well, I think... Man, we don't really have a way to stop Mirror Force into Top Deck Harvest. Unless we switch... Darken? No, Darken loses attack and defense. Okay. Blind Typhooning is just bad. I think I'm just going to take the risk and say they won't top deck Harvest. And I'll force them to Mirror Force the Dark End. They're going to call. I'm going to chain Typhoon. Target call. They'll take 21. Main phase two. Okay, cool. They didn't stop the dark end. So top deck harvest is not going to be good enough now. Um, our life total is very, very insulated. So even in the long game, we should be favored. All right. New back row. We'll go to main one. Attack with dark end. D prison. All right. Fair enough. 
We'll switch magical android to attack. We'll set the wind blast and phase will gain 600 and pass. Nice. GG's. GG's. Very, very good game. Very, very good game from Cody EO. I think he played well, uh, except for the first game throwing the DD Warrior Lady away and kind of whatever. I don't think the counter fairy stuff is good. I think you should just play the regular fairy stuff. The Christia looping almost got us. Like, that could have been really bad. Had they sequenced it a little better... I mean, we already lost to it. We lost to it, but um, had they sequenced it a little better, it would have been even more crushing, I think. So, cool game. Cool game. Let's go ahead and get another one. Fuck it. Add us some format. That was a fun game. This deck is really fun. I love the way this deck plays. Triple Avarice. So hype. All right. This guy's got... Raw, what is this? Jet Synchron? I oh, appreciate that. That's very sweet. I'll pick Scissors. Nice. Got him figured out. I'm in their brain. I should say, signups for Pump King of Games start tomorrow in the Format Library Discord. So if you guys want to play in that tournament, it's a, it's a good time to <laughs> good time to join that Discord, <laughs> basically. Okay, it's lagging a little bit. Not able to draw my opening card. Okay, cool. So that's why everyone picking scissors today. That feel. Okay, um, Diva and C. Gilman. Unfortunately, we drew our one blaze. It's just gonna happen though, some percentage of the time. We can always discard the blaze. Volcanic Rocket uh, adds back from field or graveyard, which is not field or graveyard, deck or graveyard, which is really cool. So um, it's not bad. We'll go ahead and make turn one Android. This is a formidable threat on turn one. I mean. It threatens us a lot, and then we'll set the Typhoon, and then we'll gain 600. I actually could have um, set the Blaze, but I think setting the Typhoon is fine. I want to be able to interact with something like Black Whirlwind. Hidden Armory, interesting, okay. The mill DDR. Um, armory can add back from Grave if you, if you, if you want to you add it. From the, from the grave. I see. Oh, supervise. Interesting. Okay. They were sagging because their hand is slow. Well, I think it's going to be hit for 24. Oh, man. If they have gores, it's so bad. Maybe we slow things down a bit, actually. Maybe we're just favored here. Maybe we'll just keep committing and then keep passing. We don't need to play into Gores. Although, this locks them out of their normal summon. Maybe they just have normal summons they weren't able to make them. That's a tough one. Ah, okay, we're dead. <laughs> That's Sag. Tomato. Interesting. I can't can't do anything about this. They're going to crash. Oh, what? They're going to crash three tomatoes. Okay. So they're probably going to mark... They're going to grab a tuner and they're going to mark Synchro with Android. That's pretty good against us. Oh, never mind. I thought if they would get a Gale, that would be bad for us, but this is not a Gale. Okay, it's actually Brain Control. That's even better for us. They can Black Rose blow up the field, um, which would be all right. No, they're going to Power Tool. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, interesting. They could Synchro Plague and Power Tool into Gotham's. That'd be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't interact with this it's i have no back row <laughs> this is all good this is all good all right ddr mark and supervise okay so we know they have supervise plus one of those three good to know about i suppose this matchup is probably not good for us because they like sweeper into otk which obviously complicates things setting night assailant would have been huge alas here I am, hoping to rip off of Dick Koichi. 
And we did. Thank God. Oh my God, that would have been really bad if we didn't. All right, Kai's going to banish the power tool. At this point in time, we can't risk it. I mean, we just have to attack. If they have Gorse, they have Gorse. Yeah, I knew they did. Damn, that fucking blows. All right, well, we'll be able to Avarice next turn. And we have a nice life buff buffer. So, could be worse. If they hit the DDR, I mean, we're just fucked. Uh, maybe not that fucked. We have Typhoon. We know they have Supervise. But that's all we know. Okay, they're going to go for Plague. That's okay. That's all good. They're going to mark of the Rose. So they must have hit Mark off of Power Tool. We can't let that happen, unfortunately, or else we will die. They still have their normal summon, so... A lot of things will kill us from that point. We know they have supervised two unknown. They should have used the mark before using the plague. I mean, it, it's the same either way, depending on what back row you predict. But either it's better not to draw lock yourself till the last possible moment, more or less. And either way, it kind of gets blown out by space typhoon. But I mean, that's. It's still, like, I think better to wait to draw luck yourself. Maybe not, though. Maybe they don't have a conversion other than Plague. All right. Gore Switch. Cool. Just a Gore Switch. Interesting. If I was them, I would have attacked with the token, too. I mean, we set Typhoon. There's no shot we have Gores. Caius, okay, maybe we can hit our one Cyber Dragon. So we've got five, we can Avarice. Hopefully this just works out. Nice. This is why Diva plus Avarice is so good. Because it's just three of the cards you need for Avarice straight up. Okay, draw two. Ooh, that sucks. That's really bad. Well... I think we're kind of fucked. <laughs> I think we're kind of fucked. I think we have to, like, get lucky. We can normal Dekoichi attack over Plague. I think that's what we have to do. I think we're fucked. But it's it's not good. It's not good. We needed to hit, like, a shell or something. Or a trap card. It's kind of wild we didn't draw a trap card this whole game. We play like 9 or whatever. Very unlucky. Maybe we can keep bluffing Gores. And they'll let us have infinite time. Fuck it, we ball, I suppose. Yeah, that's gonna be game. I mean, I have nothing that interacts with this. Uh, this can be armory arm. DDR does have to summon an attack position, but doesn't matter. Okay, arm. Do they have game? I don't think they got game like that. They can stack for plague, but then what? Like that doesn't make any sense. That was not a good play. We know they have supervise. No, that was not a good play. They shouldn't have brought back Plague at all. They should have just brought back fucking Power Tool. The fuck was this play? This was not a good play. Unless they have a way to make... Like, unless they have Copy Plant, basically, then... And even that doesn't kill us, because... Armory Colossal isn't game. Because Dequichi's too weak. They're going to equip to Gores. Okay. So we're going to take 3,700. Damn, they really missed 4,800 points of damage for no reason. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well. Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. They do have Plague. 
but it could be worse. I think that play was really bad. I think they should have just made power tool. Because they would have got at least two more power tool activations and the game would have just been over. Like, there's no way I could have came back from that. Okay. That's fucking unreal. That's crazy. We'll chain bottomless. It's going to pop our knight assailant. And we are dead on board. So. If they miss lethal this turn, I'm going to be shocked. <laughs> they must realize that attack with token first is game. Wait, is it game? Yeah, it is game. Okay, cool. You got me. Awesome. All right, this matchup, I like the dinos. I like the cyber dragons. I like the dust shoot, and I like the dust tornado. I also like Minecraft too. It's pretty good. Vortex is interesting. It's not too bad. I want to have Starlight. I want to cut one of the Gardens. I don't want to brick on those. I want to cut Botanical Lion. It's not really a Botanical Lion matchup. Reaver can be okay because it can attack the hand. But it can also set up their Grave and discard Dandelion. So I think I'm going to cut it. Uh, Book of Moon is good. Bottomless is good. All our trap cards seem good. We just drew them at the wrong time. Yeah. Kaya seems a little bit slow and clunky, and they can just mark it, which is not good. Uh, I'm not sure. All of our value dudes seem really good. Hmm. It might be Mirror Force. <coughs> might be one Avarice. Alright, we'll try this. This is not going to be an Avarice game. This is going to be a game where we need to aggro them out. And then use our Disruption. This is probably not a good matchup, but... We can try some things. Alright, well we don't need to summon this yet. I think what we want to do is we want to set Dust Shoot, set Bottomless. On their turn, I want to Dust Shoot them. Let's see what they got. Alright, we got Quick Draw, we got Debris, we got Giga Plant. Mirror Force and Solemn. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Smiley face. We are going to take... Huh. I think we're going to take Debris. Quick draw. Yeah, okay, no, wait, they wrote it already. I don't know why I'm writing it. <laughs> it's just a habit at this point. Yeah, we take Debris. The other stuff we can interact with, so it's fine. Even if they find Dandelion, we can interact with that with uh, uh, Bottomless and Phoenix Wing. Sag. All right, all right. How are we playing this then? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good start. That's a good start. We'll summon that, we'll search. So this is pressure. Let's see if they want to solemn this. <laughs> okay, they don't have solemns yet. We'll grab Blaze. We can Wind Blast their set end phase if they don't force here. And we can put them into a locked position, basically. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, okay, cool. If they draw another monster, they can make plays, but yeah, I think they, I think they're screwed. They should have set both their back row. I think. There's a new back row. That's probably the solemn. The old back row is probably the force. Well, 
I can't know that for sure, actually. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. That's going to get bottom list. They can now DDR it if they want to, but that doesn't do anything. So we're chilling. They can, their hand is DDR, Quick Drop, Giga Plant. Their new set is Solemn. Their old set is Mirror Force. So if we go Wind Blast, does this guy banish only monsters, right? Yeah, he banishes only monsters. We're gonna go Wind Blast, Pitch, Blaze. Target the first set. <laughs> and then on our turn, we'll draw Avarice, great draw. Well, it's an okay draw. It's not the best, but. We'll summon Trooper, see if they want to Solemn. 3x, middle 3. Three monsters, beautiful. Beautiful. If we get Mirror Force here, then we have a Live Avarice. Not the Dyna. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. We know the card on top of their deck is Mirror Force, so we can just pass. Next turn, we can switch Rocket to Defense. Well, they're probably going to DDR the Kaiku to try and stop some of this. Um, I think. Maybe they won't. Who knows? Oh, they set the DDR. They didn't set the Solemn. Interesting. All right. So they pitch a card. They're going to pitch Quick Draw. Cool. That's fine. They could sack for Giga Plants. Looks like they want to get the Banishes instead, which is actually a good play from them. Dyna and Dekoichi. That's fair. I probably would have banished the Gilman just so we don't have it. So we know they have Solemn Force down. And we can play through that to a degree, I think. All right, so we brain that forces the solemn, right? Because if they don't solemn this, they lose everything. Oh, wow. They're just OK with losing everything. All right. <laughs> now they lose their board and their mirror force. Okay. Main phase two, we can set a Koichi. Set road. Pass. We don't quite have five monsters. I think we have what, three? Yeah, we have three. But that's fine. I mean, we're just still really far ahead. I'm not sure if we want to flip this to Koichi. It is lagging like crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure if we want to flip this to Koichi yet. Because they might just solemn it. Maybe they don't, actually. Maybe they do. They might solemn this. If they do, it's kind of bad for us, actually. <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, it's time for D.Va. And that should be the game. If they solemn this, they die to the Dekoichi. So they can't really, yeah, okay, there we go. Nice, nice. Well, I mean, they weren't just dead, but they didn't know I didn't have another Gilman, but hey, we take those, <laughs> we take those. Okay, that game went well, that game went well. Is there anything we wanna mix up? We saw they have Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. We saw they have Quick Draw, that kind of stuff. I think I think our deck is fine. I'm not really sold on Starlight Road. We know they have Mirror Force, Heavy Storm. Ah, right. Starlight Road's probably good enough. I'm not sure if Black Garden's where we want to be either, but maybe. Maybe it's okay. I don't know if we want two Black Gardens. I feel like we could brick on this. Like, I feel like it might be better just to have like another interactive piece. I'm not sure what interactive piece, but... 
another one other than Black Garden. This doesn't seem like a Black Garden matchup. This seems like a matchup where we need to be the aggressor. So slowing down the game is not not in our benefit, really. Alas, here we are. Okay, Gold Sark's good because it's slow. Let's see what they look for. Lone Fire. Okay, they can DDR this. Looks like they're going to. Okay. This is at least one power tool. Because they can grab Giga Plant and Normal Summon it. If they have Supervise, it's full combo. But we have Cyber Dragon. That's bad. Okay. Okay. All right. It doesn't target. But yeah. Uh, Giga Plant doesn't target because it can special from hand or graveyard. Here's a copy plant. This is power tool number one. And they still have a normal summon. So, they're going to get at least two power tools. This is going to be really hard to win. Legit. This is going to be really hard to win. Yep. This worked out really well for them. Plus, they got the plague in the grave too for follow up. This is not going to be an easy one. Let's see what they grab. If it's another supervise, it's really bad. Yep. That's pretty fucking good. And they still haven't even normal summoned. So they have at least three, four synchros here. I think. Yep. Also good. Thankfully for us, we do have Cyber Dragon. Hopefully they don't just have like Solemn Judgment or something. Because that'd be really bad. If they do, we kind of get fucked. But not much we can do. What I'm hoping they do is they resolve this power tool. They stack for Plague. They synchro into Stardust. And then they pass. They've united we stand. Oh my god, they have so many breaks. That's crazy. They hit the third supervise. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going off, dude. Alright. They could go into Titanial here. Um, they still haven't even normal summoned. So this is a free third power tool. If they want to go for it. I mean, they might not even want to go for it. I don't know. They can go Titanial. They can sack the Giga Plant off Lone Fire if they wanted to. Bring it back. Normal it again. Looks like they're going to go for the third power tool. This is uh, this is fine. Oh, no. They're going to go for Stardust. Oh, this is actually a good play. Synchro with the power tool. Yeah, this is a good play. They're going to stack for Plague. Okay. They can synchro with these two. Uh, yeah, that works. I don't know if I like this so much. I, I wanted them to do this. I wanted them to do this because our game is going to be basically... They're not going to normal summon this. They're going to forget they have a normal summon. That's funny. Okay. Interesting. All right. So we have a plan. It's not a good one. But it is a plan. We can clear power tool with Chimera Attack. Let's see what they got for this. Alright, nothing. We're going to eat the power tool. Make Chimera Attack. Uh, in defense. And then we are going to... I believe set set activate black garden pass the turn and face typhoon damn fuck dude that's so ridiculous all right, they got us. We'll just go to the next one. Oh, we lost that game. GG's. GG's. I was really unlucky. I thought we had the. I thought we had another match. I wouldn't have admitted defeat if if I didn't think we had another game. Orange, you got this one. Uh, yeah, I needed you to fade. Uh, Typhoon or Solemn plus turn one. Because I have reversal. 
yeah but oh well it happens it happens i don't think they played that optimally either they could have normaled the giga plant and gone and got titanial and then we would have lost for sure but they gave us a chance they gave us a chance overall i think if your opponent isn't nut drawing then this deck is very good but i'm not sure hmm how long has this recording been an hour and five minutes maybe we get one more game with a different deck just for funsies bonus match what's a fast deck what's a really fast deck maybe we play relinquished frogs bonus match is this the right relinquished frog deck i think it might be why is morbius in this deck morbius maybe not Maybe we play zombies. I haven't played zombies in a really long time. Do I have like a drain zombie deck? Zombie prison. What is zombie prison? Why is this deck 50 million cards? <laughs> this doesn't look accurate. Hold up. Zombie world? What is zombie world? Why do I have so many different zombie decks in my builder and none of them look good? This one looks kind of fire, actually. Rivalry Zombie World's a combo. Alright, we're going to try this out. We're going to play a match with this. Maybe I cut one card. Hold up. I kind of want a compulsory in here somewhere. Hmm. Eh, maybe not. Maybe this is just perfect. Alright, we're going to run this. This is going to be a bonus match. Bonus match. Light zombies. Very hype. Hmm. Yeah, Giga Plant Supervise, ladies and gentlemen. You can't beat it when your opponent proverbially stacks their deck and doesn't brick on their United We Stands and shit. And then also you don't draw meaningful trap cards and you lose game one because they have Dark Arm Dragon. Damn, that deck has so many bricks. Okay, we've got a game versus S. Teth. Pick and rock. Dang, okay, I'm gonna pick rock again. Nice. Calculated. Calculated and destroyed. Hopefully our zombie prison deck is enough to take this down. Let's see what we got. Good opening hand. Really good opening hand. We've got Thunder King plus triple back row. Nice. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is a good opening hand. Okay, standby phase is cool. Main phase one is cool. All right, we've got rivalry. We've got dimensional prison. Do I want to flip rivalry? That's the thing. I want to find zombie world before I flip this, if possible, because I don't want to lock myself out of my next summon or have to kill my next summon, basically. Set monster. Ew. No, thank you. Okay, skill drain off the top one time for the fans. Or Zombie World. I'll take Zombie World. I'll take Zombie World. Road? Uh, Alright. <laughs> Alright. You know what? Let's trade this Thunder King. Let's trade it with the back row. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Show me what you got. They're going to pop the Thunder King. Good. Good, I would so much rather have my trap cards than the Thunder King. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That's so, so good. Okay. Main phase two, we set. Do we set? Yeah, we do. We'll set set, and we'll pass. Things look good for the hometown hero. Man, I love this game. <laughs> this game is so fun. This is such a good draw, by the way. This just makes me feel like I'm playing El Lich. Another set monster. Ew. No, thank you. Poggers. How does this guy work? Target one level four or lower zombie monster in your opponent's graveyard that was destroyed by battle. Special summon that target. So we can bring back their Raiko main one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I might do it. I might do it just to get the value. Fuck it, why not? Fuck it, why not? 
This is going to shut off Caius's and stuff. Okay. Priority. We can protect this guy if we need to. If need be, we can protect this guy. Target Ryko. Okay. They're going to chain Space Typhoon. Does it need to remain a zombie? I kind of want to bribe that, actually. I'm going to bribe that. I'm going to bribe that. This is a, probably a terrible bribe. But I am going to bribe it. Yes, give me that Raiko. Yes! My Raiko. Nice. Okay, that was probably really stupid. <laughs> Whatever. We'll attack. What's it going to be? Hamster, okay. That's cool, too. That's cool, too. Go grab Raiko. That's fair. Hamster is destroyed. Very nice, very nice. Alright, well... I guess we just pass. We're not in the best spot, really. They need to clear Zombie World before they can do anything too broken, I think. Like, they can't tribute summon guys, and then... I can lock them out with Rivalry. If they don't pop Zombie World or Rivalry. Next turn, we can bring back their Hamster, which is funny. Okay, here's Raiko. This is going to target Zombie World. Okay, they are going to go after the Zombie World. They recognize the threat. Unfortunately for us, this is pretty bad. This situation is pretty bad. We're going to sack for Caius. Yeah. All right, well. Fair enough. Fair enough. They have five for Avarice now. They could Avarice. They milled Heavy Storm. Oh, man. This is going to be more grindy of a game than I wanted it to be. <laughs> mm, our opponent's going to think forever, too. Come on, bro. Just play the game. Just attack. Or don't attack. Who cares? All right, they're going to get de-prison. Nice. My neighbor's dog has been barking nonstop for the last 16 hours. They are terrible dog owners. I hate that. It's so frustrating. Okay, end phase. Dude, just click end turn, please. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. All right, sick. We drew Thunder King. I'm a normal summon this motherfucker. Torrential tribute. <laughs> Starlight Road, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's go. 200. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 1900 1900 Do we want to attack with Stardust? No. <laughs> we just pass. It's two turn clock. We don't need to attack with Stardust. We don't need to expose it to a deep prison. Nice. We need to keep Stardust in play too to prevent like debris dragon shit. Although Hmm. I guess Thunder King already beats Debris Dragon shit. Maybe I should have attacked. Who knows? Who knows? Dude, my neighbors need to walk their fucking dog. It's so annoying. It was barking all night, and it's still barking. And it's like 8.50. It, was bar it started barking yesterday at like 6 p.m., and it hasn't stopped. I don't know what's going on with their dog, but like, that's not healthy. Okay. Our opponent's a big thonker. Big thonk. I mean, Lone Fire is good. Lone Fire gets him out of it. I'm not sure what else they could have, though. It's literally just Lone Fire. Okay, well. Alright, well. That, that works. Sure. Go off, champ. That's frustrating. No Titanial. Oh, of course. Of course they didn't draw Titanial. Why would they fucking draw Titanial? <laughs> Sure, that's cool too. That's awesome. All right, bitch. I see you. Battle trap, honest, one time for the fans. 
Give me something good. Book of Life. Does that do anything? I don't think that does anything. I think we just switch this guy to defense and pass. Yeah. This is fucked. Rivalry. I wish that I could have flipped Rivalry when that Raikou was face up and prevented the Caius, but you can't do that in Edison format, sadly. Which is dumb. They've played around Rivalry pretty well, which is very frustrating. And they had the out to our situation, which is also frustrating. And now they just have a shitload of back row, which we're never going to be able to play through. Oh, this is, this is something else. I'm just going to go to the next game. I didn't want this game to take forever. Okay. That was fucking stupid. That was really fucking stupid. I'm siding out rivalry. I'm bringing in chain dis. Also bringing in light mirror. <laughs> nah, I'm not bringing in light mirror. I'll bring in knock. I'm going to bring in the second knock too. Probably over a book of life. Breaker's pretty good here. They had a ton of back row. I also don't hate DD Warrior Lady because it trades with Titanio, and Titanio's a fucking problem. And I also like Starlight Road in this matchup, so. We have a lot of stuff we could bring in. We're going first. I don't love Cyber Dragon going first. Oppression, Skill Drain, both very good. Dark Prive is mediocre. We're going to side one out. Actually, I'm going to side out both Dark Bribes. Cool, this should be good. Let me just take a quick look here. We could also bring in Dust. Because it's chainable to Raiko. But. I think we're fine, actually. This matchup should be good in theory. They just had a draw that like lined up really well against us last game. Unfortunately. A lot of back row. Titanial, we didn't have the out. Uh, our rivalry did nothing. Our zombie world kind of just got poked by a Raiko. It's not a great situation to be in. All right, cool. This hand is bad. <laughs> like, this hand is actively really bad. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to set turtle, set typhoon, and pass. We've got breaker. We've got typhoon. If they set two back row, I'm going to go probably end phase typhoon. If they set one back row, yeah, I'll probably still typhoon it. I think the only way I'm not end phase typhooning is if they set three or more back row. In which case, I am definitely just going to summon Breaker and then pop. And then if it's a Dust Tornado, then I can chain my Space Typhoon and get value that way. Although it's kind of the same as end phase typhooning. And end phase typhooning plays around Dust Shoot. Yeah, so here I am going to end phase typhoon this. Bottomless, nice. Those being gone is good for Breaker later on. Okay, so this is possibly a hamster, possibly a Raikou. Honest is a terrible draw. Both Smashing and Honest here are terrible. <laughs> this hand is really bad. I think the plan is just to poke at it. If it's a Raikou, Pops Pyramid Turtle. If it's a hamster, well, I got fucked. So, there's that. Alright, looks like they're playing Doom Caliber Knight. They milled three monsters. Very lucky for them. I think we just pass. I don't think we really have to do anything here. Oh, okay, main phase one, what do they got? Nothing we can really steal with Zombie Master either, which is annoying. I wish I could steal that Doom Calibre, it'd be nice. If they don't have another back row, this breaker's gonna look really sad. Charge for another Ryko, awesome. And of course they're gonna mill three more monsters, so their avarice is now like super giga live. That's great. That's just perfect. That's just really so sweet. Really, really tight. I should have activated this in case they had lone fire. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think they would go for lone fire here. On an empty board. And even if they did, we have smashing for Titanial, so. They're just gonna set pass. Oh, they're gonna set a back row. Awesome, hell yeah. Finally, we can get value out of this breaker. 
Nice. So we'll go breaker, activate, pop their back row. Hell yeah. Plus one, baby. Plus one. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, they're going to mill three here. They did mill a dandelion. Okay, so now we are going to zombie world. Now we are going to zombie world. Why? Because it prevents both Lone Fire and Caius. So we are going to zombie world here, and we are going to pass. We don't need to set D prison because I don't want to play into Heavy Storm quite yet. They haven't revealed a Heavy Storm yet. Um, next turn we can go Zombie Master, pitch Honest, bring back Honest, attack over the tokens, bounce the Honest. Something like that. Can't. Zombie World. Yep. Exactly. Nice. Hell yeah. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Back row? Ew. Three back row. Well. <laughs> Not good. We can try Honest Poke. Let's try it. Let's try Honest Poke. Oh, they're going to think on the summon. You're going to Solemn it. Okay. Attack token. They have another D prison? They do. That's fine. Main phase two, I will set my D prison and pass. This could bait a dust tornado. They might be setting up dust tornado on zombie world, but that's okay. Cause Drill Warrior is I mean it's alright. We can we can book of life their dandelion so the drill warrior isn't doing too much. Them setting their whole hand makes Debris Dragon off the top less of a threat, too. Interesting. Alright, well. I think Zombie Master has the least amount of value. So I'm going to summon him first. If we can kill one token, it's okay, but I would prefer to kill... Both. They're going to Solemn Zombie Master. Wow. That is crazy. <laughs> now I can Book of Life. Book of Life can target Zombie Master and Dandelion. Not bad. I'll do that. Zombie Master and Dandy. Do they have another solemn <laughs> kappa? What are you thinking about? They might have DD Crow. They might be like thinking about a DD Crow thing. I'm not sure what else they could have here. Okay, so that's just gonna resolve. We're gonna get Zombie Master. They're gonna lose their dandelion. Fuck yeah. We could commit. We could commit. Hmm. Do we want to pitch our DD Warrior Lady to overcommit into a sweeper? We haven't seen a single sweeper yet, so no. I don't think we really want to. I think we just want to poke at the tokens. All right. Hmm. Now it's a matter of do we smashing this? No, I think we just pass. I think we just pass. I could be wrong about all this, but it's hard to tell. They are pretty low. Hmm. I might bring back in one rivalry in the Cyber Dragons on the draw. I might cut this smashing ground. Who knows? We'll see. What is their plan? I suppose. What is their plan? <sighs> this could be tricky. Debris Dragon. Okay. That's fine. They could Black Rose here. Good thing we got rid of that Dandelion. That was huge. 
Oh, they're going to make Stardust. That's very good for us, too, because we have D-Prison. Yeah, this is very good for us. Yes. Yes. Get fucked. Should have made Black Rose plus Ratio. Owned. Destroyed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If we draw a monster, we can go for game. Straight up. I just might go for game next turn. I just might do it. Oh, Call of the Haunted. Fuck. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Never mind. Guess we can't go for game. Alright. Goodbye, Zombie Master. They could have chained Call in their dandy. That's what they were thinking about. Makes sense. Ooh. Now that's not bad. What if we attacked over this game? Nothing, right? <laughs> I think we attacked over a Raikou, didn't we? Was it this Raikou? I think we attacked over both Raikos. So we can go smashing Paladin, bring back Raikou. All right. Paladin, we know they have Quick Draw Unknown. Bring back Raikou. 2100. Two turn clock. It's not the best, but I'll take it. <laughs> Honestly, I'll take it. Honest would be a great draw. A couple other cards would be good draws. They have another debris that nukes the field. That's pretty bad for us, but. Eh. Any 1900 monster kills them, and we have like seven of those in our deck, I think. Maybe even more. I'm not sure how many mechs we're playing. So I think we're actually pretty favored to top deck a lethal threat if they have to go for Black Rose. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, my body is a shield. Is that something we want? Double D prison, bottomless, all that shit. Do we want my body as a shield? What is this going to prevent? That's the real question. I don't know. I do like Cyber Dragon post board. I do like Cyber Dragon. They have a lot of fucking trap cards. My body as a shield stops Raikou. That's kind of cool. It's kind of based. I don't love Smashing Ground. I'm going to side it out. Chain Disappearance hits Debris. Okay. Skill Drain's good. Royal Oppression is good. Starlight Road is good, but it's awkward with Royal Oppression. I'm going to side out one Zombie World. I think they can clog. I'm going to side out one Pyramid Turtle. Because they kind of conflict with the Cyber Dragons. Alright, this looks good. D-Prison might be one of the worst cards. D-Prison might want to be like a Dust Tornado or something. But I think it's just like good enough, you know? It's only really bad if they have Titanial and we don't have Zombie World, basically. Otherwise, it's fine. I think we're just going to run it back like this. This is a crazy anti-meta deck. A lot of haymakers. My body as a shield might be Copium. I'm not sure if this is going to be good or not. We might actually want something different here. We might actually want like Trap Hole or something. As weird as that sounds. Because, like, outing a Caius is actually kind of hard for us. We have two Honest. We have two D2 War Lady. We can Crash Turtle, I guess. Eh, maybe it's not that bad. All right, we're going to try this. We're going to try this. We're going to see how far it gets. No Knock, unfortunately. No Cyber Dragon, unfortunately. But whatever. <laughs> you know, what can you do? We have Mech. So that's a threat, I suppose. Just set pass. All right. Hmm. This is really tricky. So this is very bad for us if they have a heavy storm or Caius, but I'm going to play around Caius more than I'm going to play around heavy storm. So I'm going to set two, and I'm just going to say they don't have heavy storm. Oh, I could have activated Zombie World. But if I activate Zombie World, they'll target it with their Raikou. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is the best play. I think this is the best configuration for our opening board. Here comes Raikou. It's going to target our back row. Fuck me, dude. And they 50-50'd it. 
And they milled a dandelion? Dude, fuck this game. I'm out. I might just leave this game. This video's been too long already. Fucking bitch, dude. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Yeah. That's so stupid. Well. We have counterplay. Alright. We have my body as a shield to play through back row. But our situation's not great. I will say. Situation's not great. That was fucking stupid, by the way. We can go zombie world. Mech. Attack token. Set bottomless pass. He won't die because he's not the only zombie monster on the field. These guys are zombies. We play through everything that isn't Heavy Storm. Um, heavy Storm would be bad, but we just kind of have to play. We just kind of have to play like they don't have it. They didn't use it last turn, so I'm just assuming they don't have it. This is locking up Bonefire. It's locking up Drawn Titanium. It's locking up Caius's. So it's locking out at least three different types of cards. Debris Dragon isn't going to do anything unless they make... No, Debris Dragon doesn't do anything. Because if they Black Rose... It's not the only zombie monster. It's not the only zombie monster. Your monsters are zombie type. Yeah. Yeah, so Debris Dragon doesn't do anything. Because they they make Stardust and then we have Honest. Which sucks, but mm -hmm. God damn it. My phone's gonna be blowing up now. I can already tell. I can already tell. Alright, hold, 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 hold. Yeah, Debris Dragon doesn't do anything, because they go Black Rose, we have my body. They go Ancient Fairy, who cares, right? I guess Ancient Fairy can pop Zombie World. That does suck, but whatever. If this is a Raikou, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Mezuki's a good draw. Okay, we're going to summon that. All right, cool. Yeah, we're just going to shove. We're just going to shove. We're going to go Mizuki, attack the token. D prison on Mizuki. All right, fair. And then we'll go mech attack the token. We have my body for the Raikou flip. We have honest for the Caius attack. And then we have bottomless for the next play. So hopefully we can just pull through. Not likely, but possible. Possible. Maybe they're set as hamster or something. They're not just like snap flipping it. It's kind of weird. I think my body as a shield is fucking big copium, because it's just like, what could it be? Ooh, that's a good draw, actually. That's a really good draw. We can summon him. We can attack the old set, because it's most likely to be hamster. Hmm. No, it was Raiko. Uh, sure, they're gonna hit Zombie World. All right. Mill three. They milled debris, avarice, dust shoot. They left in dust shoot against us. That's crazy. All right. Well, we can crash with the Caius. I think that's a good play. We'll do it. Now they don't know about the honest, and we'll pass. Um. I didn't normal it this turn. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what? The guy must have read the card like six times. Heavy storm. Alright, well. 
We could never beat that. That's just unfortunate. <sighs> Sag. Very lucky. Pwn has been very lucky this game. Both with milling the dandy, drawing multiple Raikou, etc, etc. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Alright, well, let's attack it. Whatever it is. Yep. Sure. And of course they didn't, you know, mill the third Raikou or anything. Yeah. Cringe. I'll set the road. If they Raikou pop road, that makes me kind of happy, actually. Unless they have fucking Caius, too. But if they had Caius, they should have just sacked the hamster for Caius last turn. There's, like, literally no reason not to do that. Holy fuck. Play the game. <laughs> Let's go, bro. There isn't that much to think about. When you have a set Raikou and your opponent has zero cards, it's like, what are you thinking about? There really is nothing to think about. Okay, cool. They hit the road, so we're safe for another attack. They milled Brain. That's really good, too. That means they can't, like, just randomly lethal us. Okay, here comes Lone Fire. I wonder if preserving the Honest here and playing, like, as patiently as possible with it is going to pay off. I wonder if we're going to win the game because of it. I don't think we are. I'm going to be real. I don't think we're going to win the game because of this Honest. But, there's a chance. There's a chance. Ladies and gentlemen. Calc. <laughs> Got him, motherfucker. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, four, 400 less. Yeah, they only take 2,400 here. As much as I would like them to take 2,800. Damn, that was clutch. That was hella clutch. <laughs> All three Raikos are gone, and I draw fucking knock, dude. This is so dumb. This is so dumb, man. Hopefully Mech can just carry us, but it's not likely. They take 22. Pass the turn. Man, this game has been so whack. <laughs> Oh, man, we lose to everything here. We lose to Debris, we lose to Quick Draw Dandy, we lose to Avarice, we lose to fucking any back row, we lose to Gores, we lose to fucking... Like, I don't know what they could have in their hand that we don't lose to at this point. We lose to everything at this point. That's insane. That's insane. Well, it's not Raikou, right? It's not Raikou. So what could it be? Dandelion? Uh, we should knock it either way. I don't know if we're going to attack, but we should definitely knock. Set card trooper. Okay, here's my, here's my game plan. Here's my game plan. We're going to attack. They have gores. They 5,000% have gores. Um... Yeah, but I have a game plan. I have a game plan. Next turn, I'm going to top deck something good. I'm not sure what I'm going to top deck, but I'm going to draw something good. Maybe that was a choke. If I draw a win through Gores, I'm going to be really sad. Like, if I draw Honest next turn, I'm going to be really sad. Okay. Okay. We're going to lose both our dudes. Interesting. Interesting. All right. One time for the fans. Brain control. Not the best. Not the best. We'll save that. We'll save that. Hmm. We're super dead. I'll see how we win. This deck doesn't have like burn or anything. I shouldn't have attacked. 
That was probably a choke. But I don't really have like that many outs to this. Okay. If you're gonna attack with cores here, you should have attacked with it last turn too. Uh, this is just a misplay, but they should have beat us with this course, like immediately on the spot. Wait, do I still have Book of Life? And now Book of Life wins. Okay, one time for the fans. They put Sangin in attack mode. I need Book of Life. One time. Hold. How many mechs am I playing? Am I only playing the two mechs? Am I dead here, man? All right, we can set turtle and we can pass. I might, I might be just dead, but like, hold up. We might be all right. Hmm. If I had three mechs, I could have attempted to go for game. But they still have Deprison Mirror Force, and they still have Torrential. So, and I don't think I have three mechs in this deck. I think I only have two. I should have three, because it's like the best card in the deck. But I think I only have two, if I remember correctly. I don't actually remember my list. Alright, they're going to attack. Cool. There's Turtle. It's going to activate. Do I have a third mech? No, but I have Plague. Hmm. If I get Plague, can I do anything? I don't think so. I think it's just I have to get Turtle and chill. If they switch their Sangin, yeah, fuck. Okay. Damn. We had a shot. We had a shot, but now we don't have a shot at all. Okay, hold up. The shot is back. The shot is back. Hold up. All right, breaker. Activate. Are they going to solemn this? They're going to torrential. Jeez. Okay. They must have call then. Uh, which we oppression and then we lose. Maybe that was a choke. Hmm. We could still win this. We could still win this. Legit, we could still win this. They're gonna activate quick draw. Um, sure. When they synchro, if they have Space Siphon here, I mean, we lose, but we have Royal Oppression for the drill. And they have Solemn. All right, cool, cool, cool. GG's. GG's. They missed Lethal like six times, but what can you do? All right, I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.